Thank you. Is that right? Can you hear me? <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. So the woman that you see behind me in the picture, she's an, quite an incredible woman. She's a mother. She's a farmer. She's a manager. She works in the formal sector. And as you can see from the look on her face, she's a very happy beekeeper. And she is just one of the many remarkable women that I have met during my time working for Bees for Sustainable Livelihoods in Papua New Guinea and Fiji. There are all women all around the world who are just like Henu. In, in the past, aid and development programs would give these women some hives, maybe a beekeeping veil, possibly one training session, and send them off on their way to be a successful beekeeper with very little to no skills or support to enable them to achieve their goals. At Bees for Sustainable Livelihoods, we would really like to challenge and change the way donors and aid practitioners deliver agricultural for research development beekeeping projects for women, um, particularly throughout the Pacific region. As gender inequality is a complex issue, influenced by many factors, many different solutions are required to implement, monitor and evaluate gender objectives within agricultural research for development initiatives. The research we're doing at Bees for Sustainable Livelihoods, supported by the Australian Centre of International Agricultural Research, is to build the capacity of government organisations, NGOs, extension officers and beekeeping trainers to deliver, implement, deliver, monitor, um, sorry, to enact policies and procedures which allow women to have increased access to technical support, resources, training and opportunities to expand their bee business, diversify their incomes and ultimately really just lift themselves from poverty. We collaborate with stakeholders throughout the beekeeping sector to design and implement gender equitable policies which align with local objectives. As part of my PhD, these structural changes are supported by activities such as community-based mentorship programs, which are designed to engage with women in a community at a grassroots level, either as individuals or alongside their family as part of a family bee business. Our research has also shown that there are other ways to engage women in beekeeping and to devote, diversify family bee business income through the production of value-added bee products, such as candles and body products. We have also worked to improve women's access to knowledge and technical information, which will